Hi guys, guess who's back? Part 3 WWDC and welcome to the third episode of Learn iOS 9 Programming with Swift 2.0 Well, this is a long one So, let's start by Basically, today we are going to start Run Tracker And I just want to say that I'm going to make one little change to this series that is going to be different to my other ones I'm going to zoom in on the code when there is a code and the zoom in is going to be about 720p so it's going to be still high quality but we're going to get to see the code better so let's start by creating a single view application call it run tracker language swift of course devices you're going to make it universal but I don't really know why it would you would want to use it for an iPad but I want to teach you some things so we can do it use core data of course include unit tests of course include UI tests sure why not press next create and here we are Let's start by going to a storyboard. Here we are going to search for a label. So what is a label? A label is just like some piece of text information on the screen. I'll just size it so I can see it better. So it's basically just text, nothing special. Here on the right side of the screen, when it's selected, we can change its font and style of the font. I like this one, custom Helvetica and style light. So let's double click it and double click on the text. You need to double click on the text and call it run tracker. And that's it. So let's go over how this all works. Just clear this. So first, on the left, we have all the files that are in the project. So we have a project. Run tracker tests, UI tests, and products. So, the thing that we are going to focus right now on is just this first one. Here we have application delegate. This is basically like something that gets called when you start the application. You don't need to worry about it all that much. Then, view controller. We are going to talk about it with the storyboard. Then, we have the assets here so not every iOS device has the same resolution of the screen so you see here icons 29 pixels have uh, times 2 and times 3 because times 3 is new retina HD display on iPhone 6 plus and 2 times is just retina display so this image is actually going to be 58 point uh, pixels for width and height and uh, 3 times it's going to be 87 if I'm not mistaken so that's about it you can add your own images then there is large screen so this is basically what's going to show while the app is still launching so you can put like in the middle run tracker same old custom font and just at the bottom of screen we're going to place loading but 
let's just make it a little bit bigger. Now there are some things that there is a thing that is called like constraints. I'm going to teach you about them a little bit later in the series. Just follow my steps. I may be a little bit fast, but I think that it's not going to be a big problem. And yeah, I forgot my constraint, so it's at the middle of the screen. Next, info dot property list. This is just some property lists of the file not to worry about. And this is just core data. It's like a database. Now let's jump back into storyboard and we have this view controller. We can put multiple of these. This is like storyboard of film, like story, something like that. So here we put the story of our application and every view controller, this is a view controller, this whole thing, it has a view inside. View is actually what we see. It's connected. You can see on the right hand side if you click this identity inspector its class is view controller and if we go to view controller swift class is view controller excellent here we can connect some stuff from one thing to another and did my I mean that my disappeared something Anyway, let's place it back up. It's not going to be the most beautiful application ever, but it's going to work. So let me just see this. Yeah, I failed somewhere. This is the right place, so constrain it a little bit. And I Failed totally. It happens sometimes. We don't need the width. And let's change it to run tracker custom light. And we'll just we have a lot of things here. But what we want is a button. Here that's going to say get started. Perfect. Let's constrain it, constrain it. Perfect. Now what we can do is connect this stuff. So you want to right click on it, drag it to the code and let it go. Then you're going to have connection outlet, name, I'm just going to say run, title, label. Then we'll put a button, right click here and get start button. Then we want to create an action for a button that gets triggered. When the button is pressed, so on right, right click over here, change connection from outlet to action. Say get started. So this action is going to be triggered when we press that button. So let's just print get started. Now errors, it takes some time to open up the sim okay something messed up the recording yeah a little bit earlier but it actually made a really great cut so this is what if we have simple label run, run tracker and get started button so in my, my mind i want so when we click get started it gets triggered but in my mind in my mind i want them to like go to the left, like move, like cool animation, and we're going to do that, of course. So how do we animate stuff? 
actually we only need view controller so you want to go UI view so just view we want to animate with duration let's say one second so if you know what's Swift about Swift programming you know that UI label and UI button are subclasses of UI view so we can animate them so what you want to do is go title label frame so frame is like position but not only the position it's like the top left of it it's position of top left corner and width and height so we want to change that to move it so I want to say that frame is equal but because this is a block of code this piece right here we can't just do this we, because it's from the view control or view controller class class we need to go self dot that label dot frame equals direct direct C direct angle make because if you look at it the frame is C direct so we want to make new one so at which axis do we want it to be moved x or y I'll say x so x is going to be the same that it is it's origin dot x but minus self dot view so we want to get the view frame and width so what is this view so this view is the this view basically which contains our label and button so we want to move it by its width so it's going to be like there somewhere and the other stuff should stay the same so I'll just copy this change to this one self type label frame that width self type label that oops frame that height and that's that. Now we want to make another one and just do the same thing for the button. And now if we run it, we should see that cool animation that we have. So if we click it, it gives us the great animation and something else, else is going to pop up so I think that's pretty cool that's the end of the first real lesson I hope you enjoyed it if you did rating would be much appreciated and don't forget don't forget to subscribe because then you'll get notifications when I post a new one I'll see you in the next one guys next time goodbye and also guys I just wanted to say that in there will be a link in the description to a straw poll where I'm going to just uh, ask you is this zooming on the code okay or not yeah, basically just simple, that, nothing else. Thanks again for watching, see you next time, bye bye.